Sydney's Glasses by Renee Carver. Sydney never remembered to clean his glasses. At first, his lenses were bright and clean. They sparkled in the sun. Sydney could see everything very well. Then one of his lenses got a smudge of mud on it. Then the other lens got half of a fingerprint on it. Then Sydney tripped while carrying his lunch and both lenses got sprayed with drops of milk. Sydney couldn't see as well as he could before, but he could still see okay. He didn't clean his glasses. Then one of his lenses got a blotch of mustard on it. Then the other lens got a thumbprint on it. Then Sydney dropped his glasses behind the couch and both lenses got covered in dust. Now Sydney couldn't see very well, but he could still see some. He didn't clean his glasses. Then one of his lenses got a smear of chocolate on it. Then the other lens got a paw print on it. Then Sydney poked his head under his bed to find his baseball mitt and both lenses got covered in cobwebs. Now Sydney could barely see it all. However, it was time for his baseball game and he was late. He didn't clean his glasses. Sydney stood in the outfield. His lenses didn't sparkle in the sun. They were covered with gunk. Crack, the batter hit the ball hard. Sydney squinted up at the sky. He saw the ball sailing over his head. Sydney ran backward. He couldn't see the ball. He couldn't see anything. His glasses were too dirty. Splash, Sydney fell into a pond. He scrambled to his feet. He rubbed his glasses on his wet uniform and put them back on. He looked down. Floating next to him was the ball, but at least he could see again. Why isn't Sydney able to catch the baseball? Sydney couldn't catch the baseball because his glasses were too dirty, so he couldn't see very well. Why can Sydney finally see better at the end of the story? Sydney ends up tripping into a pond and his glasses get cleaned and washed that way, so he's able to see. And after falling into the pond, how do you think Sydney felt? He was probably pretty happy that he could see out of his glasses and he might've felt a little silly that it took him so long to clean it. All right, hope you enjoyed that story, Fabian, and I'll have some more for you next week.